David Bachman, I live in Ocean City, New Jersey, and I'm from Lansdale, Pennsylvania, Montgomery County originally. Perfect. And Dave, so tell everyone, um, where did you move from before you lived in Ocean City? What did you do there? And then when you came here, um, how long ago was that? So seven years ago, I lived in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I got my start in over the phone prospecting sales floors, helping to sell business development programs um, to um, individuals to help them with the internet success. So when I moved to New Jersey, I got introduced to Jeff Quinton, and he was able to show me how I could adapt my over the phone sales knowledge um, with real estate. And from there, the rest was history. Perfect. And so seven years ago, you moved to Ocean City. And um, how many people did you know? When I moved to Ocean City seven years ago, I didn't know anybody. We had no center of influence and no connections here. Um, a little bit of a connection with Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, but not too much that I would have a circle of influence to stay in contact with because I was still pretty young. Yeah, how, how old were you when you moved here? When I started with you, I was 24, 25, somewhere in that range. So um, you, you show up here in Ocean City, New Jersey, really not knowing anybody, 24 years old, a little bit of sales background over the phone, uh, selling some products and some business services. And so tell us um, about, you know, you joined the Quinton Group and share with us your journey. The first year, what did you do and what did that look like? So when I started with Jeff, you know, I didn't have any real estate skills or background or education. I didn't even know anything about real estate. And when I started, it was in, as an inside sales associate where I would actually set Jeff appointments for him to go and take listings or work with buyers. And I would pre-qualify them on the front end, make sure they're serious and motivated and ready to go. And then have Jeff go on the appointment on the back end. And while he would go on the appointment and everything in between, I would watch and learn how, to, how he sold real estate. And then after about eight months, um, my skills developed enough and I was licensed that I could actually go and sell real estate on my own. And so, by starting that way, it actually helped build a really solid foundation for me to build onto a fantastic real estate career. Cool, so about a year later, eight months, a year later, you're, there's an ISA, and then what, what happened next? So my first year, I must have done about 25 transactions right off the bat, um, pretty easily too. So I had a good pipeline by that time and had a good uh, foundation financially, so I wasn't stressing too much. But after that, 25 transactions, I'd say that went to about 50 on the second year and then from 50 to 60, and then 60 to 70, and then 70 to 80. Um, and that's about where I progressed to, about doing close to 80 transactions after six and a half, seven years. Perfect, and so you've had a pretty good run in the last six, seven years. Um, so just tell, share with everybody now, where, what, what are you up to now? As far as your next journey in your world, and your life, tell us about what you're up to and, and uh, where you're going. So my wife and I have been led to go back out west actually, and um, going back to where my roots were in Salt Lake City. And uh, we look forward to taking advantage of the mountain and outside uh, explorations and things that we don't have living at the beach, which is cool, but we're excited to get back into the mountains and go snowboarding, hiking with two Huskies. So they miss the mountains too, of course. And we've had a place out there part-time for a while now, so we're excited to get back out west. That's awesome. And so um, obviously your career here has allowed you to pursue your passion, your dreams of moving back out west, right? Yeah, there's no doubt that if I didn't have the financial foundation that I've developed through selling real estate with the Quentin Group, I wouldn't be able to accomplish what I'm looking to do with what actually we're passionate about in our lives. So we're excited about it. That's awesome. So, you know, going back a little bit, um, if you were to get into real estate today, any advice you would give an agent looking to get in, would they be, would you, would they become a solo agent in your, in your mind, joining a team, joining us, just anything, be candid about where you, where you would come from for advice. So if I were to give any advice for any agent starting out in business with no prior real estate knowledge or experience, I'd um, highly recommend joining a team. At the Quentin Group, all of our uh, systems and processes were already developed, so I didn't have to go through the year's worth of trial and error to learn how to figure out and do it on my own. Everything was already developed for me, so I just had to step into the processes that were already there so I could do what I do best, which is sell. So, and that's what um, real estate is all about, is selling the real estate, not so much the back end, which can be taken care of for you. Um, but that would be my biggest recommendation. Being in the real estate business, what would be just three more additional pieces of advice for someone to be successful? 
So that's a great question. Uh, three pieces of advice I would give for somebody to be more successful, especially in sales and real estate sales specifically, is to wake up early. You get an extra few hours ahead of the competition by getting things done earlier in the day so you can get started and stay focused on real estate between the working hours. Um, second thing I would recommend is that you stay healthy. You exercise daily, eat well, and drink lots of water. And the third thing I would um, recommend is to always be knowledge based and always develop more sales skills and motivation to help you expand into growing as a person um, within real estate.